Welcome to the Fat Fuel Family Podcast, where every week, Danny and Mauda Vega discuss topics that help families live a healthy and active lifestyle with their little ones, including nutrition and training, peaceful parenting, education, and mindset. To stay up to date, make sure to hit subscribe on this podcast and check out the blog at www.fatfuel.family. You can also find them on Facebook and Instagram at dannyvega.ms, at Fat Fueled Mom, and at Fat Fueled Kids, and Fat Fueled Family on YouTube. Enjoy the show. Welcome to the Fat Fuel Family Podcast. I'm your host, Danny Vega, and I'm joined by my uh, very What's strong my immune system wife right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just read I just read some um I just saw on, on a Facebook that uh I'm actually more susceptible with my blood type. I don't know how much of it is true. I have to look into that. Which one are you? A A negative. It said apparently uh O blood type is more resist, resi- uh, resilient. Are they? Are they just to the virus? A, is it's it a Chinese a, study. Is it? I, or is it I think this is BS, guys. They're is just, just correlation. Like, yeah, they're, they're, just they're, they're just, everyone. Now everyone with an A. Yeah. Like, ah! And and they're just like, well, why would you cite that? Oh, well, because O is a universal donor or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, blood it blood exists. types blood types. I'm just like, I'm always suspicious about that because I'm like, there's just not enough information. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Blood Happy. type. Can't be. Maybe if it's genotype. I remember they you know. made me get that shot, like because uh, supposedly my my baby's blood type was gonna. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What was it called? What was that? Shot? Rogam. Rogam. Mm. Yeah, you got to take this because of stuff. whatever, and you're always like. <laughs> I'm like, how did kid people survive before? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> uh, man, we're we're going through some stuff. Um, everybody, right now, hopefully you. Um, by the time this podcast comes out, hopefully things are better. Um, yeah. but, but it's, it's one day at a time, you know, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, but our guest today, um, we're super excited because our guest today has been on this show before and we're super excited because we have taken his test. Um, and we're going to go over my results. We're going to talk about a few other things, of course, with immunity being on everyone's mind. We're going to talk about that, but our guest is Barton Scott. There he is right yes. there. Barnes, a nutritionist, chemical engineer, and the founder of Upgraded Formulas, a nanotech company focused around performance and longevity, specifically with a focus on correcting mineral deficiency with a new category of supplementation. Barton is a chemist as well as a nutritionist who has created a new technology and category called Nano Minerals, which is paired with hair analyses to increase health span, focus, blood sugar management, and sleep quality. Upgraded Formulas is also incredibly inspired by the work Charity Water does and supports them in the great work they do. For those of you who do not know of Charity Water, it's a nonprofit organization that provides drinking water to people in developing nations because there's a difference between water and potable water. And we are very blessed to have potable water um, yes. in this country, you know, without I'm fear of, of dying of dysentery and all the things that can happen. So uh without further ado welcome back to the show friend of the show second time guest barton scott what's up brother great to hang out with you guys oh my god we're gonna we have so much to talk about it's like where do we even start where do we even start right yeah man yeah so much good stuff to cover hey by the way what that painting behind you is pretty cool what uh what's the story behind that uh that is a a friend she she's a great artist she painted that so is it a geisha Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. it, was just, it was a gift. Yeah, nice. Very, very, very cool, nice. man. I love having talented friends, you know. It's right. Just, uh, <laughs> it's like, whoa, no, it works great. I, I'm impressed. <laughs> so, so, dude, um, you know, we always start off with this question. So, I'm gonna have to ask you again, and I want to know, you know, currently, what is the most critical problem you're currently trying to solve? What's What's on your mind? What's on Barton's mind lately in the world? Mm-hmm. That's a great question. Right now, for me, uh, we're out. We need to just kind of get our stock back. Um, we have a lot of people uh, wanting certain supplements that we produce and uh, we'll be back in stock in about a week. So hopefully as you hear this, we're back in stock on our sil- on our zinc, um, our copper, our, our iodine, our magnesium, um, our silver as well. Um, so yeah, uh, all of these, we can talk about why those are important. Uh, but right now it's, you know, normally I think my question last time was kind of a long-term focus around like charity water and yeah, you're right. Like right now we, um, so they drill wells in developing countries and we support them and, you know, a portion of every order goes to them. The thing right now that you touched on that I, I was talking to a friend yesterday and saying, 
you know, we right now the problem in the U.S. is, um, and a lot of places, is that we're starting to play the the victim game with yeah. ourselves, and we're going, oh, we have it so bad, and then you feel that's the quickest path to feeling terrible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what I like to do is pull the focus back on and like put it somewhere else on other people. And then, you know, surprisingly you feel a lot better. Um, but yeah, right now we're thinking just short term, like get this bag in stock. People need these things. Some people think they need them. Some people, uh, absolutely need them, but Hey, look, you can buy it. There's a three year shelf life, so you don't have to use it right now. If not, but, um, iodine, you can add to your water. It's antiviral. Uh, it all, I mean, that's not a new thing. It's just a thing most people don't know. So if you're hearing this and you're going, okay, for the first time, like, oh, it's antiviral. Yeah. Um, to this day, uh, people in the military will put it in their water um, and uh, it just keeps viruses from replicating. So that's a good thing. I'm glad you touched on that. That's pretty much our next question because, you know, right now with everything going on, everyone wants to know about immune supporting supplements. So, you know, let's spend a little bit of time talking about the importance of key minerals and, you know, bolstering our immune systems uh, to help fight off viruses and other illnesses. So what are, what are some of the key minerals you just mentioned iodine? Um, and is there any link, you know, between heavy metal toxicity perhaps and immune status? Uh, yes. Two really good questions. So, uh, in general, the, the key minerals right now, Obviously, people know zinc, but there's a, one thing uh, that I really like. So I formulated a, a product uh, that we call Peak Thyroid. It's a blend, but it's also a great immune support product because it has copper in it, too. It has copper and zinc. So you guys, I see you nodding. You probably know what I'm going to say, which is you if you take zinc at just without really thinking about what kind of dose you're doing, what happens? Well, the body corrects. Out. Exactly. You push yeah. copper out of your body. You literally start to excrete copper. And then oh. you can, you know, it's either a viral infection on one side or bacterial infection on the other. So this is why the hair test we're about to talk to, we literally, one of the most important, one of the ratios we look at is zinc to copper. So, yeah, you know, Danny, you already talked about it. that is one area that you're a little low in. Um, this particular formula will boost that. So now we're blending a couple different topics we're talking about. But um, to get to get back to that question, um, zinc, copper, silver, iodine, and then, you know, magnesium to help you sleep. Uh, make sure you're getting nice, deep REM sleep. Um, yeah, it's not always just the time you're in bed, right? It's, yeah. it's quality sleep. I, I know you guys do that. So, um, so yeah, those are those are some essentials. Um, certainly, you know, herbs and, and things are great, uh, but if you have mineral deficiencies, you really it's like putting a it's like trying to supercharge a car that has a, a faulty engine. It's like let's fix the engine first, and then we'll you know then we'll put a yeah you know, then we'll make modifications on top of that that are, that are great. But, um, yeah, you know, they, I mean, you're <laughs> the, those are those, those right there affect hundreds of enzymatic reactions in the body. So literally over so, the thousand. And, and no one's talking about copper. No, no. one is talking. Yeah, about yeah I, I, yeah, I need, I need to do a, like, we'll talk about this in the live that we do for sure. We'll, we'll, we'll touch on that because one of the reasons I, for, I formulated the peak thyroid product the way I did is it's it's 50% copper, 50% zinc in terms of RDA. Um, granted, you know, you absorb ours a lot better. So, um, but it, that way it keeps you balanced. No matter where you are currently, you could just take our zinc. But, you know, I, I find that uh, I know I, I mean, I take peak thyroid every day because it keeps me where I need to be. If, if you're a hyper thyroid. Um, you can even take it. Um, if you're hypothyroid, um, you, you just mix in more of our iodine, take our iodine separately so, because it's got a little bit of iodine because I personally believe when it comes to uh, hyperthyroid, you, everything I've seen and just looking at hundreds, if not a couple thousand results now at this point, um, what I would say is that when a person is hyperthyroid, they're not hyper all the time. They, they fluctuate in and out. 
So you really want a smooth balancing of those minerals so that your thyroid has the raw materials it can take to make um, the thyroid hormone, right? So, so, and there's a touch of iodine, like everyone needs a touch of it. Um, and, and, and then you can do, you know, a much larger dose if you're on the low end and you have cold hands and cold feet and, but anyway, yeah. So. Yeah. So what about the link between, I mean, I know that we've, we have, I think you, they've observed like autoimmune stuff with heavy metals. Yeah, definitely. What yeah, about, oh yeah, going back to heavy metals, those are a great question. Uh, yeah. so, is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, so in general, like immune immune stuff in general, because there is some link to autoimmune, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, certainly, certainly. So anytime you have mercury or lead, um, those are some of the big ones, cadmium as well, arsenic. Uh, but I would say if I had to pick two, I would say lead and mercury, uh, then cadmium. Whenever you have those, like cadmium interferes, it's antagonistic with selenium, uh, with sulfur. Um, mercury and selenium are antagonistic. So mercury will stop the block. And, you know, the, I, I'm saying that because selenium is key for thyroid function, right? Um, iron is actually also, to a certain extent, important for, iron, for thyroid function. Um, uh, a lot of people don't know that, but it, it is. And, um, I mean, yeah, absorbing calcium. There's a lot of different minerals that do get blocked by the presence of heavy metals. Um, on the flip side, if you, if you can get to a place where you don't have um, mineral deficiencies, your body on a cellular level truly has a stronger cellular charge and will not uh, attract um, and allow for the deposition of heavy metals nearly as quickly. quickly. Interesting. So Interesting. One, one way to prevent against needing to do a really what is a very difficult thing, which is the cellular detox uh, of heavy metals is to, to do what we're doing right now, which is let's get your ratios right from a mineral standpoint. Uh, and those kind of act, you know, if you've seen the movie 300, uh, I have a feeling you guys have, you know, uh, uh, you know it's like shields up. I think yeah. of that. I think of minerals as being shields up to yeah. so many different things because then you create this force, um, this electrical force in the cell and it's, it's a beautiful thing. So, you know, I, I, I'm, we're going to go over my, my stuff now. And, um, I'm happy to say, I, I think it has to be because of the daily sauna use, but my heavy metals Fair are enough. all like non-existent. So if you don't mind, but let's iron. Yeah. Very interesting. Strange. My iron was on the low as a carnivore, and as a carnivore liver, eating eats carnivore. liver and takes pills every day. That's so yeah, maybe we can look at something. speculate as much as we can, as much as possible. Everything is on the table. You're free to say whatever you want. We know that, you know, there's no issues here. I don't think. Right. I mean, I guess right. as a nutritionist, but um, no, you're great. You're great. Yeah, yeah. Your levels look really good, too. I would oh, say. Oh, good. Yeah. So yeah. Let's 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 look through my stuff. I, I just screenshotted and then kind of give a little bit of color to each thing and maybe why it's important. And I think this will, this will really help people because it's all abstract when you tell them, you know, take the tests. Oh, um, okay. This is what my calcium is. This is what my zinc is. But, um, what I love right. is we talk about additional el elements. We talk about toxic elements and we talk exactly. We talk about, uh, significant ratios and toxic ratios. So if mm. you don't mind, let's start with the, uh, nutritional elements and, what what we can optimize and and if if there's something that's really high could that be detrimental um you know that's yeah I have. certainly certainly so one of the first things is uh for people to understand if they're listening so they don't have to cram all of this into their head they can kind of just relax a little bit and take take this in is we offer consultations we have a yeah. we have some nutritionists that do this for us now um for upgraded i've trained myself and uh, so they, you know, they will walk you through your individual results, which will certainly be different than Danny's, right? Um, and uh, I know 
we we have another result that we can talk about later too. A yeah. young girl that um, that did a, a test with us as well. A two year old, which I think will be very good for parents to hear. Very good for parents to hear as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Because if you can get a child's ratios uh, right, you know, early in life, um, and then check in on it periodically, and you know, maybe the mother had extreme mineral deficiencies uh, or heavy metal toxicity, that. Uh, especially the deficiencies get passed on to the child because the mother, of course, cannot give the child something she herself does not have. Iodine, for example, right. is a huge one there. So, um, children. The, so, one last thought I've got to share there, which is uh, mothers that are they're low on iodine uh, have children that have IQs that are about twenty percent lower on twenty wow. percent. Yeah. So yeah. moms that are you know, have, you know, maybe Hashimoto's or like thyroid issues should be especially. Yeah. Uh, I, cognitive. Like, well. this is, yep. This is, and this is one reason why I'm, I, I really believe everyone should be supplementing iodine. Uh, certainly if you're pregnant, nursing, things like that. Um, well, and then think about the link, the link to, uh, to uh, behavioral stuff and uh, neurological exactly. stuff, with the heavy exactly. metal toxicity, you yeah. get in front of that at two, you know, two is a very key age because, right, three is when things start happening and kids start regressing if there's somewhat, if there's, something if there's an effect to their genes that right. something turns on. Right. Um, yeah. so you got to catch it early. Either then or prenatal. Yeah, certainly. Certainly. So, like, uh, I used to have iodine deficiency, for example, I'll tell a quick story. I was really, I was really cold sensitive. Uh, this is part from just environmental toxins. Like, I grew up around cigarette smoke as a kid. Wow. Um, and that iodine will bind with that because it's so toxic. And, and then that iodine is inner and it's, oh, it's, it's not active. It's, it's, it's bound. In the body. So uh, it's kind of jump in front of the president type thing, uh, you know, in your, your cells. So it's really, really interesting um, from that standpoint, but yeah, I'm no longer cold sensitive. I, I do, I can do ice baths and, Stay yeah, you guys did plenty hour. at Metabolic Health Summit. We didn't join yeah, you because you were we too did. far. We were, we, <laughs> our Airbnb was like 40 minutes away from me. I would have loved to join you guys. They oh, that's were doing awesome. Like, like, yeah, uh, we're three. jumping in the ocean every morning. Yeah. Every morning. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. As a group. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, anyway, so that, just a couple thoughts there. So yeah, it took me about uh, nine to 12 months of taking upgrade iodine uh, to finally fix that. Um, but that's one of the things I'm super relieved now, you know, here in Austin, we'll go out to Barton Springs and stay in for an hour. And that, there's just like, no way I could have done that before. Um, anyway. All right. So Danny, yes. Looking at your results. Um, so one thing that we always do is we, uh, yeah, you know, want to take a look at your nutritional elements on an individual level. Uh, however, that is not as important as looking at your significant ratios. So if, if you'll bear with me, we'll look kind of back and forth. Okay. Really, the first place I want to walk through is, you know, calcium and phosphorus, which indicates uh, metabolism, um, <clears throat> sodium to potassium, which indicates adrenal function, calcium to potassium, which is thyroid function, the zinc to copper, which is the balance of hormones. You're really good there. And it's not about being exactly perfect in these either. So, um, and then I could go on through the others, but uh, right now, the the things that I would want to work to bring up would be zinc and copper overall. Um, but the ratio is good, which is which is nice. Uh, iron, you know, I know you you think it's low. It's actually quite good. Okay, oh, okay. I'm not concerned about your iron level at all. Oh, nice. So this is this is one of the reasons yeah, this is why, why I always recommend you know yeah. doing consultations because you'll have extremely knowledgeable, extremely educated people like yourself, and it's just a different test. So and and knowing knowing what the range is and understanding that there doesn't need to be a perfection there, right. pretty much ideal. Like I know. Um, okay. Yeah, like so. If if let me ask you yeah. this, would you know if 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 for some reason I showed up uh, high on the iron here on the hair test, do you think there would be a correspondingly high ferritin number? Uh, you know, not. It, it's it's difficult to say because blood in general is a snapshot. 
And yeah. this is more of a rolling average. So maybe you yeah. did a fast before that and maybe you didn't eat as much meat or you ate more. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. going to be, and that's just going to be a, a shorter term thing. Um, yeah. It, it's, it's nothing no, better than hair, per, period, yeah. right? It, it, yeah, really. Yeah. That's, that, it's just more, it's a better average, you know? like It's like an A1C of, 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 of <laughs> We should do this. Yeah. 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 It, exactly. I mean, it's, it, you know, I know it's, it's not something that doctors were trained in in med school, but then again, they weren't trained in nutrition for the most part either. Uh, yeah. And that's why our favorite doctors are the ones that are self-educating uh, and have been ever since, you know, they, right. they graduated and they actually know some about nutrition. But uh, the reason it's not standard, I guess is what I'm saying is because it wasn't, it's not, it's just not taught in med school. So, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, so that's, that's all there is to it. But is it more effective? Heck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, I mean, it's, you get so much information in one go. It's affordable. You're not doing a blood draw. I'm a big fan, as you can tell. So, yeah. Yeah. No, no. I love the idea of this. I mean, this is, this is the type of information that we can really make some decisions on versus like, same thing with cholesterol. Like, I can take four different cholesterol panels in four different days and yeah. get, four different numbers if i know how to game it you know yeah. exactly exactly and and your doctor uh most doctors i, sh I should say um because i you know i have some great friends there doctors that do a great job but there there's rarely often a conversation on what you consumed in the last week which would right. influence and is that atypical <laughs> or not um uh, right so here you know you're getting about a month's worth worth of data uh, so that's, you know, people can do our test every 60 to 90 days. I think it's nice. 90 days is, is really the average, but you know, there's, there's some drop down option on the site, uh, to choose that. Uh, okay. So where were we or where would you like to go next? Well, I, I'm, I'm really surprised and happy that I can say that my sulfur levels are decent because mm -hmm. I'm not really consuming anything. I'm not chomping on sulforaphane. I'm not, you know, you know, supplementing with a ton of broccoli sprouts um, or eating Is vegetables right? to begin with. So it's interesting that would you say that the levels there, it's on the low end of normal, but it seems like decent sulfur levels, right? Yep. Yep. You're great. You're good there. No problem. And boron is not applicable because it wasn't taken. Exactly. Yeah. We, we've just uh, realized that that is something that's incredibly difficult to test for. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's not, uh, really essential and you don't you just don't want to report something that could be inaccurate so we've taken right to take that off would strontium be a good analog um is strontium you know, because boron and strontium would would be similar right similar. right and i i would say that yeah i would say that's possible um i'm not s surprised to see the levels <laughs> may be elevated there the strontium <laughs> just, is through the just roof. knowing you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, and, and uh, yeah, that stuff. Yep. <laughs> certainly. You know that the additional element section, though, truly isn't uh, an area to to really focus unless you're seeing uh, off the chart things. Um, you know, like zirconium, rubidium, bismuth is common. Those are commonly high for for women in uh, cosmetic products. Right. Oh, so, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Um, Got to look so, at what you're doing with that. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. And you know, heavy metals. You you see different toxins as well. But in your case, you're you're set there, which is great. You um, know the reference range. Yeah, certainly. The, I mean, the only thing I could say on the iron, if you wanted to increase that, is um, you know maybe you're doing this, maybe you're not, but. Uh, just increase working to increase stomach acid doing an experiment there uh mm -hmm. where you go oh you know what would it be like if i took an extra 500 to 1000 milligrams of hcl um and um you know increase my stomach acid for the next mm, 3 months let me do a 90 day experiment and see how i feel uh and you could start that today and then we could retest and we could right. hop back on and talk about your results again you know it's something yeah. like that um, and keep everything else the same uh, from an iron intake standpoint. Um, I'd love if, to do that. 
you know, yeah, just if you want to see it move, because <laughs> yeah, I know, I know we talked off air about it too. So anyway. Yeah. Awesome. Well, wait, wait, what, is there anything let's, before well, anything we, else that sticks out? Yeah. yeah so like, yeah, the, anything to optimize. Sure. Um, the, um, iron to what is HG again? I should know uh, that Merc mercury. Yeah. So iron to mercury is low. So that would mean that, that I have a little too much mercury to my iron, even though. Yeah. It's, it's mercury is barely detectable for us. Um, and it's, it's pretty sensitive. So I think you're almost in the acceptable range. Uh, it's not, it's, it's again, it's not too bad, uh, at all. It's, it's, yeah, it's not something to concern yourself with. I would say, it would be more uh, of a concern health wise to concern yourself with it than to. So here's the, here's the then you know what I mean. Uh, here's yeah. the the couple areas though that you could focus on. Um, so you're um, reducing your calcium intake uh, is one. So just making that a, a fact finding sort of mission. Like where am I getting calcium? Is it from exogenous ketones? Possibly. I don't know if you're taking any of those right now. Uh, but those are typically high in calcium. Um, I, I know I, I jacked my own levels up. Uh, I had just by doing that one thing, uh, I've really messed, uh, some ratios up, which affect thyroid wow. function because then my thyroid, my CA to K went way, way up. I know I was sitting at like, I don't know, 25 or something, which is incredibly off. Um, and anyway, um, so yeah, it's good to see the whole picture. And that's what I love about this test is because we're through these ratios, we can look at thyroid function, adrenal function, metabolism, uh, have an idea of some of the driving hormones, uh, sodium, potassium, uh, iron to copper. I mean, it's, yeah, it's great. So from this angle, uh, I would say, you know, looking at your uh, how's your, so how's your sleep right now? Could it, is there room for improvement? Definitely. Definitely. As far as the numbers go, um, I can tell you that well, yeah, you have your aura, aura data. So. Yeah. So I have my aura data. Um, I always cut off my REM because I wake up, I don't even have an alarm, but my body wakes up at four 30. Um, and then my, That's a my champ. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, I wish I could, I wish I could not, you know, like, um, I know every time I'm like, how? I could go to bed. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, how? I mean, if I go to bed earlier, it won't affect REM. Um, but also, I think you're staying out. You shouldn't stay out. Well, we need to stop. Doing... On the couch. I stay out on the couch because my youngest or my oldest, um, <laughs> he doesn't like to go to bed when he's not tired or asleep. Because so <laughs> he's like scared. He prefers yeah. to go to bed asleep. So literally, I wake him up every night yeah. from the couch and I walk him to bed like a zombie. <laughs> and I put my little one and I put him in bed and I think that that system needs to end because mm -hmm. it's killing well, me. Well, there's a few things that are affecting that. Like I said, his screen time to be cut off probably earlier. Me? Blue light. Yeah. No, Desmond. My, Desmond. Yeah, because yeah. we don't, I cut off my you screens at off. seven, but then what kills me, I think, is that last hour of that we watch TV for an hour. It's always something educational. It's never sex or violence or... But you have them. Um... And I wear my, I wear intense like these are like they might as well be welding a welding mask like, yeah, like it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't walk around the house I, can't, can't I, would, I would hurt myself yeah, yeah. so like i gotta i gotta raise them up if i'm looking down at the ground and the lights are off because it's, okay. uh, I'll, I'll hit something but yeah uh, note, note to people on those uh don't drive with those ever oh my yeah, gosh you can't bad. see you can't see you, green lights you can't see green lights exactly okay. you'll go right through an intersection Goodness. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please yeah. Don't, do it. don't do that um, yeah, we might just save a couple lives there, guys. Right? I hope so. So uh, just to finish up with this question, for me, mm -hmm. our biggest thing is going to be taking that thyroid supplement. Yeah. And then also, you know, your sodium. Um, I, I know you, you love your salt, um, and that's, that's great. But for the next 90 days, I would, I would cut back on your sodium. So your sodium to potassium, because that's actually affecting your sleep. Sodium to oh. potassium. Too much salt. Yeah, too much salt. Yep. In this particular case. Yeah. So maybe don't add any like extra. Yeah. Like I've already had. Just whatever is in your meals because you're. I've already had two. Two. Um, are you salting? Are you salting your water or, or doing or doing some sort of electrolyte pack or what? Yeah, the element is uh, 
a thousand to four hundred, yeah. I believe, right? Or a thousand to two hundred? Yeah. That's this is this is why we test. So yeah. right. It's easy to um to well, yeah. A lot of people actually that I see doing keto are low in sodium, um, true to form, but some people are I mean, it's individual, and then yeah, 90 days, you make these changes, we'll see different results, uh, so on and so forth, right? So so uh, potassium and magnesium are the ones that are going to work synergistically to decrease cramps and nocturnal spasms. Mm-hmm. So it's not really sodium in my case, because I've, I obviously salt my meat enough. Right, right. But your, um, your, in, but your ratio of sodium to potassium is... Uh, it's your adrenal, it's your measure of adrenal function and that rhythm. So the currency that your adrenals, and I'm sure you guys know this, but currency that the adrenals spend in are sodium, potassium, magnesium, right? So when we don't have any of those or too much of those, we can have a rhythm in the evening or during the day that causes, that's uh, not optimal, right? Right. Um, so if you if you're waking up or if you're moving around or if you toss or um or that you get a, a jolt of cortisol at a at a time when you could be go, getting ready to go to bed and relax any of these scenarios can be uh are, are usually very linked to this and i i see this um like we just pulled up the young girls and I, the first thing i said was i bet she's not sleeping well and you're like no yes. she's not Yes. Yeah. And I was looking at that. So um, anyway, so it's not it by no means. Is it like crazy? Uh, It's just just room for optimization. That's all. So I'm not saying like, oh, you know, stop salt. I'm just saying, let's look at uh, let's, for example, if you're consuming, what, two teaspoons of salt a day, how, how much do you think you're consuming? In in salt, yeah, just I current. would say at least two teaspoons. In sodium, okay. that's yeah. probably what, like six grams. Yeah. So uh, two. Uh, well, if let's just stick for the measurements. It's probably the most helpful thing for for people. Um, since so we can cover some other stuff. I would I would just back down at least a half teaspoon a day. Okay. Uh, from where you are, uh, but you know, see how you feel with doing a teaspoon less. Yeah. Like watch um, that too. Probably. You know, like I, I know that there's, uh, some salt companies in the space that put out a great product and people are like, you know, excited to use it. And that's great. I mean, salt I, on everything. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, and it's just like, you know, I just did a five day fast and I did our minerals from upgrade formulas. I did salt i did water uh that was it uh a touch of black coffee every now and then um just uh, when you know hunger would kind of come on and and that was it i felt great so salt is important certainly um but i also knew my my levels uh so yeah it's just checking in and 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 to be honest any i would prefer you be on the high end and dial it back down than than be on the low end because that low end, the low end life of salt is not fun. You don't feel strong. You don't feel motivated. You don't feel, yeah, there's all sorts of problems. Um, it's probably me. <laughs> I need to right. It. Because then your adrenals don't have what you need. And yeah. Am I talking to you? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's very, very common. It's a very common pattern. It's more common than anything to see adrenals not get what they need. And yeah. then thyroid, is downregulated by the adrenals, you know, because the wow. adrenals are, are just kind of operating in this, uh, you know, this partial mode, this non-optimal state. So, so let's just, before you go to that next question. Um, sure, sure. I, I'm sorry, because I, hey, I'm being selfish here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm being 100% selfish. But <laughs> so that's assuming everything was back in stock. I would basically start my day with the thyroid product, which is mostly zinc and copper with a little bit of iodine. And, and some then, selenium. Yeah. And it has some, some. Oh, it has some selenium. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then would it be prudent to add a nighttime potassium? Uh, let's take a look at your potassium real quick. Cause we, everybody, uh, for, for those who don't know the the only, um, concern with potassium is hyperkalemia, which is uh very high potassium levels 
which could uh, cause cardiovascular risk. Um, but I'm assuming that the kidney, is kidney issues, things like oh, yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And sodium, sodium, would sodium be protective of that because of the ratio? Yeah, because of the ratio, you would want to, to do potassium. Um, yeah, absolutely. I would do, you know, a cap full. Uh, is that like, yeah. how much is that? A hundred milligrams, 200 milligrams or, uh, a cap full exactly with, with our new cap size. Uh, we just changed cap size. So I'm, <laughs> that's a great question, but it would be enough, um, to bring you looking at your level to, to help you, uh, be supported in that. So again, ours is going to differ because you're, you're going to absorb almost everything, uh, that you take. So it really will probably only be mm, like. Yeah, I don't know, three, four hundred milligrams, something like that. Okay, I would say um, if I had to guess without without measuring, like I said, we just switched cap size, so it's just purely a, a bottling thing. Um, but uh, and it, it's they have an actual measurement on the the bottle, which is the label just changed recently too. So, um, but in general, yeah, having a dose. So the way that would work is yeah one way to those balance each other out. So you're, you're absolutely right. You could take some potassium there. That would help because your, your next formula or your next ratio, calcium to potassium 8.6, we, you know, ideal is about half that at 4.2. But uh, I want you to understand uh, that it could be, you know, I've seen this be um, four times higher than what it is for you. So oh, wow. you have a really good ratio that there's, of course, room to optimize. Um, so you're about, you know, you can also bring that, improve that by by adding potassium as well. So one to two capfuls a day of the potassium would be fine. You can just experiment there, find a rhythm. Uh, you will go through, um, the only size we have right now is a four ounce. Um, and, and you'll probably go through that at one there, there'll be about 20 capfuls in, uh, in that bottle. So, okay. you know, you can do the math on, on how much you need there, but yeah, sodium to potassium, um, is, is key. Uh, zinc to copper looks pretty good. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll address that. Um, yes, your salt to magnesium. Um, you know, we'll, right now your magnesium levels are, are good um a little high um hmm. it's interesting and then <laughs> yeah. uh yeah and then yeah calcium to magnesium you would you know just kind of reducing calcium um yeah 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 magnesium being elevated i i love it when it's low because we get such a, a benefit from our upgrade magnesium you just man i don't know have you been taking that prior to this i wonder uh, the, the upgraded. Yeah. The upgrade magnesium specifically. No, no. I mean, look, I, I, I was, I saw Robert religiously taking his iodine <laughs> and his magnesium and I was like, man, I need to get my hands on that. But I was like, let's so wait magnesium until. Magnesium tie, but that's all you do is take magnesium all night. No, I, I, take, <laughs> I take. He's like, I need more magnesium. I take like 400 <laughs> milligrams of magnesium a day. How much? Four? Four, 400 milligrams. Okay. Of, usually of a glycinate. Um, but yeah. Even glycinate doesn't compare to your. But it's not going to compare to his formulas. That's like yeah, yeah, we're we're able to to get into all the tissues. If you're only going to take one, um, chloride's great. And then uh, if it's ours is small enough to get into the cells, so the whole business about crossing the blood brain barrier uh, is cute and all. But uh, what if we can just get into the mitochondria of the cells? Right. So it's small enough to do that. So amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. That's that's why it works. Uh, what you could do. Uh, to bring it down would be do one to two caps of our magnesium in place of, I didn't know you're supplementing currently. Uh, that is something like in a consultation we, we go through, but we've just kind of bounced around here a little bit, which is great too. Um, so, so yeah, you could do that in place and see how, um, uh, how you feel and what that's, what that difference is like for you. Um, yeah, that really kind of covers it. Other thoughts, other questions? Uh, we can also move on and talk, yeah. talk about the girls as well. Hey, 
Hey guys, we're gonna take a minute right now to tell you about one of our amazing sponsors, Santa Cruz Medicinals. Santa Cruz Medicinals is a company that we've been using for years now. They make high potency, high quality, lab tested CBD formulas at, a, at an affordable price. They offer ketogenic, paleo, gluten-free, sugar-free, lab tested formulas. You all may remember when we did our cannabis series last year, one of the things we learned with CBD is that the research is pretty clear on dosage. Five to 20 grams per kilogram is what you should be taking per day. And most of the quote unquote CBD you see online and on Amazon is severely underdosed. Most of these products are offering dosages that are so low, you have to down a bottle a day. <laughs> That's why we love Santa Cruz Medicinals because they offer highly dosed, potent CBD with clean ingredients, and they have several cool products, but we want to share our favorites with you. So what are your favorites, my love? Um, all of them? <laughs> no, really. I have yet to try a product from them that I don't love. However, I will talk about some of my ride or die products. So during my cycle, I get horrible migraines, guys. And my go-to is definitely their peppermint tincture or the 10,000 um, milligrams to get a potent anti-inflammatory dose. Uh, peppermint has been shown in studies to relieve migraine pain. But let's talk about the pain solve real quick because this I use for almost everything. And everyone in this household agrees we cannot live without it. So the CBD pain salve, it has clean ingredients that you can trust, but it also has peppermint, which really, really helps. And so what I like to do is I'll rub some on my temples and it really provides instant relief for me when I have bad headaches. But of course, I'll use it as well for any muscle pain that I have. Well, I'm personally a huge fan of the 10,000 milligram bottles of CBD in MCT oil. I put it in my coffee and then again at night, I'll, I'll put some more in like some broth or whatever drink I'm drinking, a hot tea uh, to get an adequate dose for the day. I also love the pain salve, especially when I'm extra sore. We usually take turns massaging it onto each other and it always does the job. You guys also have to try the new CBD infused hemp and collagen protein. If you're a fan of horchata, you will love this one. Oh, that one is so good, guys. We just tried it and it is so good. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, check them out. You can find them at scmedicinals.com. And of course, don't forget to use the code FATFIELDMOM at checkout to save 15% on your order and get free shipping, guys. Yeah, let's uh, move on. So just to give people, I guess, a little bit of a, just info, um, we won't give any names or anything, but uh, this is a, you know, you're going to go over kind of, I guess, whatever sticks out to you, but this is a two-year-old who is having issues uh, with sleep, skin issues uh, mostly. And then the biggest thing is uh, her teeth. So her teeth have been decaying over time uh, to the point where they've all have had to been extracted at this point. Um, and you know, that's great for now, but you know, we have to get to the root of the, the issue. So, uh, we had her do this hair test, uh, and her diet is good. So it's not like she's eating sugar all day and, you know, yeah, yeah. So. It's really interesting. Um, uh, I, th I think with hers, I do see she has some aluminum toxicity. Yeah. Which... There's some serious, like heavy metal stuff. What's up with the molyb? Well, go ahead with the aluminum, but there's some other stuff too. Though. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the, that's coming from. Uh, I would say that um, the best thing for her to do about the Molly B um, mm -hmm. is just do do a search for foods high in molybdenum, and okay. then have them go through and check them check them off. Right. So you know it, it won't do much good to rattle off you know a handful of foods that have that have Molly B in them. Um, but yeah, like nuts and grains or grains often have uh, pretty high levels. Um, so interesting. Yeah. So, so that's interesting. And I, I think it, yeah, it's interesting if it's like, so all of her teeth had to be, huh, that's fascinating. Yeah. I mean, calcium, magnesium, um, is there, her zinc levels are, are decent, uh, or actually good. Um, yeah, really calcium, magnesium, uh, she's low in both of those, um, okay. her ratios, um, indicate that she needs more magnesium than calcium. Um, because let's say she's at 14, she, which is about twice as high or double the, the recommended, which would be seven. Um, like we talked about before the call. 
you know, so for people listening right now, if you're like, oh, well, how does this particular thing apply to me? Well, it applies generally because uh, I'm looking at her sodium to potassium ratio and her calcium to uh, potassium ratio, which is thyroid and adrenal function. And we see neither one of those is optimal. So she does need more calcium. Uh, she does need more sodium as well um, uh, as it relates to her potassium levels. Okay. Um, now, what's interesting is that some of the time when we have a potassium level, granted hers is not super high, but this can indicate, I wonder if she had jaundice as a child because. I think she uh, may have, I'm not totally sure. Wow. There you go. Uh, adrenal, I mean, sorry, kidney function may not be optimal. So her body may not be excreting things and filtering. And this is, yeah, this is why I love this test so much because wow. it just gave us insight into, she needs to check her, her kidney function actually. Interesting. Um, yeah. So. And what's up with the, like you were saying, so the aluminum, right? Obviously, we, you know, I, I said to, you know, probably stay away from aluminum foil, uh, things like that. Um, Deodorants. Um, skillet. But, she, I mean, she's so young. I, I doubt that they're, you know, swallowing her with deodorants. Um, no, they're not. So, because <laughs> uh, so. you were saying, the zir- was that what you were saying with the rubidium and zircon- zirconium that that could be from, like, self-care products? Like the... Uh, yeah. the- uh, it certainly can be, it, uh, and then bismuth as well. Bismuth as well, but she's she's okay there. So, okay. Um, yeah. So those really in that sort in that additional element section. If if you're high in one of those, I start checking uh, household things, environmental right. things, and doing inventory there. Right. Wow. Yeah. So I'm uh, just checking it out, but um, yeah, it's interesting the. Yeah, she does want to increase sodium. Um, oh. And having potassium, yeah, it's, hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, I would I would do, uh, especially if she had jaundice as a, you know, as a newborn. Um, uh, I, I have a feeling her, her, her filter, her body is not filtering toxins as well. Right. And that's evidenced that by the alum- aluminum a- accumulation, right? And she has touches of mercury, arsenic, uranium, and cadmium, so. Um, you know, this, this is good because it's a great place to start because there's, you know, I can't imagine how much money and time it would take to try to find this, um, yeah. with accuracy elsewhere. I, yeah. I just, I don't know how you do it. Yeah, me neither. So, yep. Uh, so those are some thoughts. Um, uh, I would just focus there for now. Um, uh, manganese, she's a little low in that. That's linked to memory. Um, yeah, so we uh, we do have a a, a product um, that is called Upgrade Sugar Support. It helps with cravings. I wouldn't recommend it to her in this case. I'm just saying generally. Okay. Because um, mang- manganese, we see a lot of people are low in because <clears throat> we're you know we're multitasking all the time, <laughs> stacking our schedule right. Uh, so mm-hmm. our Upgrade Sugar Support helps with with cravings. Uh, like sugar cravings, because it provides a couple key minerals, including manganese, that when your body is not low in them, uh, after you support your levels, uh, those cravings really do start to dissipate. So it helps if you're going to be fasting or trying to fast or, you know, just get through your day without snacking constantly. <laughs> <laughs> So your magnesium supplement um, would be good for kids too, right? Because it's a liquid. So oh, yeah. you kind of like hide it. Yeah, I mean, um, what, sorry, what were you saying? You can kind of what? You can like, uh, well, I don't know if they're, are they flavorless or? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. So. Uh, it's just harder to get kids. Some to of them to, are. It's hard. It's just harder to get kids to take things. So I, I you know, I kind yeah. of told you to do magnesium baths for now. Um, right, right, right. Yeah. So definitely she could do our liquid or our capsules. We have both for that product. Awesome. Uh, so that's a really good thing. Uh, she doesn't like swallowing capsules, which, you know, at that age, I, I get yeah. it. Um, <laughs> our, you know, the liquid, though, the key is just to dilute it. We, we don't put any flavors in it because, you know, I worked really hard to engineer a product that absorbs uh, the way it does. Um, so you get you know, virtually complete absorption. The key, though, is 
um, you know, if you were to throw a flavor in there from a manufacturing standpoint, despite all the all the work that I've done there, uh, it would then you'd have to put a stabilizer. Now your body, it's such a big right. conglomerate <laughs> yeah. that your body would then have to digest it. And then now you're back to square one. So we, you know, we, we don't do that. You can put it in lemonade. That's not going to affect Yeah, or like water. Yeah, just like diluting it with water. Or something. Yeah, just mix it, mix it up. And, um, you know, uh, with children, it's, with her, you know, if adults are taking 200 milligrams, um, you know, she, she could start with 50 you know, okay. or something like that. Awesome. And uh, maybe a hundred, because again, ours, she's going to absorb quite a bit of it, you know, most of yeah. it, virtually all of it. So instead of 20%, like, uh, you know, in most <laughs> cases. So awesome, man. Sometimes well, less oxidize, oxides about four. So, but anyway, yeah. Wow. So. Well, I'm going to ask a question that I think we asked last time, but I think it's important people understand. But before I ask that question, I have, uh, just an idea. Um, have you looked into other things that you can put into nano size? Like, are there, is there, are there challenges? Have you considered mm -hmm. it of putting yeah. up, like that small? Yeah, definitely. Um, I have, I just know that the most important aspect of your health is minerals. So that's our focus. And we just want to, uh, stay focused as a company right now on that and, and not dilute ourselves. <laughs> yeah. See, <this laughs> so to my, speak, this is my, my, my drifting brain trying yeah. to take you away from your focus brain. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're right, man. It's a great thing to consider. And there's a lot of uh, shiny object syndrome <laughs> that I have all the time personally where I'm like, oh, my God, this would be great to do. Yeah. But uh, truly, if someone gets their mineral ratios correct and, um, and you do start to chelate heavy metals, by the way, as you do that. Um, over time, you chelate, your body chelates them naturally, but you start to speed up that process. Uh, granted, you know, your liver pathways need to be opened. And all, there's so many different things to play a factor, but uh, this is such a foundational thing. I mean, it's an elemental world. For people listening that haven't heard me talk about this before, it's, it's an elemental world. This test is an elemental test, and our supplements, you know, are, are great solutions to that extent. So, I find that people do get great results. We had someone on just recently um, that did a, a consultation with us, and she said, "You know, um, I I I just want to say I'm feeling incredible. Uh, I know my levels haven't moved a ton, but I went from not running to after you know from several years now to in the past three months since I did this test. So she waited 90 days and retested." Uh, she's back to about 75 miles a week running. And wow. uh, so, of course, she's burning through them and everything. And she she understood that. But uh, she's like, I'm feeling incredible, though. That's and awesome. I, I literally was just like, no, I'm not really interested in working out or moving that much prior to. And I was like, yeah, we're, this is another great example. So That's powerful, man. Wow. So um, I want to ask this question again. And um, I also want to just give a little bit more context to the question beyond absorption because you know we start getting into you mentioned binders and you mentioned other additives um if there's anything you can add to that um on that side of it but why is it important to consume the right types of minerals versus just purchasing on amazon or your local health food store yeah so the the right type of minerals if i understand you're, you're like the right delivery there. system i guess yeah certainly well uh, I'll give you a great example. So there's two versions of you. There's one version that that uh, takes the results and goes great. I'm going to, you know, grab these and and go. I've got my recommendations. I know what I need to do. Unfortunately, your levels won't budge if you just take a normal mineral supplement. Uh, I tried that, and uh, when I just first discovered. Uh, hair testing about a decade ago and I was when I got my first result back I remember being just uh, relieved but then also upset like really upset because I had been taking 600 milligrams of magnesium or so a night right and I was chronically deficient and I was like what's what's going on what's going on I wasn't absorbing it and I you know I was I, I just knew that, you know, at that point I'd already cut out things that would cause intestinal permeability and, you know, I, gut health was already there. So, um, 
frankly, yeah, your levels, good luck, but your levels won't really move. They won't really change. So and unfortunately, symptoms, people aren't, aren't testing either, so they won't even notice either. That's the problem. Yeah. Like, I'm taking my magnesium. It must not be magnesium. <laughs> yep. it, exactly. Yeah, no, it, it, exactly. And, and then we start to induce. So I think this is really key for both of you guys to like be able to share with people is, um, and as a mom and everything too, is like we can induce uh, nutritional deficiencies all the time. Just like we talked about with zinc, you take too much zinc, not a good thing. You take too much copper, not a good thing. You take too much of anything, not a good thing. Um, uh, there is a, <laughs> there is certainly a limit. So, so yeah, testing, you know, I was amazed last year at paleo effects. I was walking around talking to people and, um, and just asking them like, okay, so the soil's depleted. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter, you know, <laughs> what you're, you know, I hope I, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter. Obviously eat nose to tail, obviously eat organic, like the things that you guys talk about. Often, I think those are like key recommendations to follow. But the soil depletion, like that's part of the reason why the iron is there. It's not necessarily your stomach acid. It's right. it's very possibly that the beef that you're getting, you know, the topsoil is uh, a tenth of what it was roughly, you know, a hundred years ago. Right. Um, so anyway, um, True. the it's just like the mother giving to the child. She can't, if she doesn't have this nutrient, she can't give it to the child. If Mother Earth doesn't have this, they it can't give it to the strawberries, right. to the grass that the cow eats, you know, et cetera, right? It's just that simple. So, you know, I, I do have some friends, uh, they're working on long-term solutions about, you know, soil regeneration. I'm sure you guys know some of them too, some of the same people, but, you know, that's a longer term thing. So I feel like we're working a similar, on a similar issue. Ours is just an immediate sort of uh, immediate personalized fix. So, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Anyway, it, it, all good things, you know. Um, it's just that's the reality that we're in. And, and like, hey, you know, uh, you've got to test. Otherwise, you're just guessing. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I definitely got to test. I'm going to test my kids, too. Totally. Um, Awesome. So, I mean, any other advice that you would give, if any, to people who are, um, I know we already talked about this, but just anything else, you know, as far as it, when it comes to immunity and building your immune system, anything you yeah. do besides the supplements? Um, let's see. So besides supplements, well, we oh have my God, silver. You didn't, did, did you want to go into, I guess we'll talk about silver on the, uh, on the live too. But. Yeah. Yeah. We can talk about that. Yeah, I, you you know, and then anything silver, else, of course. Silver has been used for a long, long time. We'll be back and probably by, by the time people hear it, we're in stock again. Um, people did kind of go crazy. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, that that's been impregnated in filters for a long time. Uh, so it's, you know, it's antimicrobial. It's not antiviral. Some people think it is, it's not, yeah. uh, but it is to the extent that it reduces your body's cue, right? So if your body's busy, like defending against all these different right. things and silver comes in and clears some of that cue out, then your body is able to not be overcome and, and it is able to defend, right? Because it right. just has less in the cue that right. it has to get rid of. So uh, you, that is one way to think of it. So anything that can do that is is really really key. Um, yeah, yeah. So I, I love iodine though. If if I'm sticking to one, you know, outside of say zinc and zinc copper ratio, um, iodine is essential. I take it every day. So it's it's just a matter of how much do I take type thing. Um, unfortunately, iodine is one of those things. It's just like boron. It's in such a small amount in the body. It's, no, if anyone tells you they can accurately test for iodine, they, it's, it's, it's not true. Uh, no. Unfortunately, I want it to be, believe me, I do. Okay. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you have cold hands and cold feet, that it's a pretty, pretty uh, spot on indication that you could benefit from more iodine. And, and you look at your diet. I mean, there's very few spots where you're getting that. Um, but uh, gosh, I mean, just doing like the lifestyle stuff, like, uh, just follow you guys, I would say, on um, and just like emulate, you know, get to the gym as long as there's no outbreaks. Uh, right. Uh, move, get some sun, be outside. It's amazing how your problems start to dissipate when you get 
more sunlight in your eyes. So true. And you just out, you walk outside and you're taking the call outside instead of inside. We've been doing a lot of that. So uh, true. Be on the phone outside, you know, um, obviously meditate, you know, people talk about it so much, but find one. What I found um, for me is that I, until I got to a type of meditation that I loved, that I felt was an easy thing to get in, like an easy thing for me to look forward to. Right. It wasn't ever going to be a habit. And right. then once I found that particular system for me, I found what worked for me, then uh, then I was much more effective at it. I wanted to, to do it. It felt like a, a place that I could kind of push myself, push myself. And then I knew I had that as a safety net. So um, I, I, I declutter mentally so much. Um, and it, it, it does really, really help the immune system when you're not under when you reduce your stress load. Yes, of so, course. Yeah. What is that type of meditation yeah, what is it? for I was you? I'm thinking. curious. I was like, What's uh, yeah, for me, it's transcendental meditation. Oh, TM, so it's it? uh, transcendental. Uh, repeat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can't. yeah, I've done those. I and haven't done that. I haven't done I've it. I've done them and they're really good. Yeah, so this one, uh, I really like it. The So there are like uh, verbal sort of things that you're audibly saying. In this case, um, it's it's a, you can do this on a plane. I've done it like um a number of different places uh but closing your eyes and you're hearing yourself say a mantra in your mind but you're not audibly saying it wow. um, and your mind only holds one um thought at a time so whenever you choose that sound that has no real meaning yeah. then you're able to uh everything else falls away right because you you hear a sound and um yeah it's you're so you just consciously and that that rhythm will change and that sound will sound differently and you'll daydream every now and then and then you'll yeah. come back to back. it. And, you know, anyway, that's another podcast. But yeah, so. that's cool stuff. You know, what's interesting is like when I it's been I like play, changing, I yeah. play certain games when I'm meditating sometimes where I do like I do the counting. The counting helps me. Yeah, I count a ton. Like I'll do. I'll do uh, a five second inhale, five second hold, five second exhale, five second hold. And I'll keep increasing the size of the inhale and exhale until I get to 10 seconds with five seconds holds. And you can inhale for 10 seconds. Yeah. And exhale for 10 seconds. That's that so that right there is two breaths a minute because it's, it's 30 that. seconds. That's literally impossible. Um, yeah. It's 30 seconds um, for the first breath and 30 seconds for the second breath. I can't maintain that for a long time, but yeah. for like a minute. But you could do it for like a minute. Yeah. And mm. it's pretty good when you can do that. It's challenging. That, that's challenging. like, that's, that's, a, that's taxing for some people's minds mentally. And, yeah, and they're just not as body connected as you are. So I just, yeah. But again, everyone has their thing, right? So you're yeah. very, um, you know, you know, if you like to be in the gym a lot, you're probably very uh, kinesthetically connected, right? Yeah, true. Um, for some people, um, like getting out of their minds is difficult. Is is even more difficult. So, like, I know for me, counting is not um, not enough. Yeah, if, if you ask me to do differential equations or calculus or physics or something, that's a different. That's that's different. But like ca- counting, oh man, counting. Like mm, that can be uh, for for twenty minutes. Oof. Yeah. If I can just hear myself say something that's the same. I'd rather like the some... chance, though. I forgot about that. I'm gonna try it. Yeah. The chance doesn't always see work. See if they have any yeah. guided transcendental stuff. Yeah. I mean, it, and it's you know, again, it's just like whatever, uh, whatever works. That's really what I say. Is like because your favorite yeah. thing. But like, I literally tried every type of meditation I could find in the world, and then that's the one that was. Uh, 300% better for me. Wow. Like it wasn't even close, but I went and got like trained in it uh, as well. So, you know, every, and the return on that was cool, was really good. But um, anyway, yeah, we chat more about that later. That's um, uh, yeah. The whole like uh, box breath, I think that's really effective for calming the nervous system. So that's, that's a great tip too. For yeah. people. They're just like, honestly, I have an alarm now that goes off every 30 minutes and it oh, just yeah? says breathe. Wow. And it, you'll hear it chime. I just chimed earlier. I was like, oh, let me turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> I have a, every hour, I have I like a reminder that goes on that gives, try to do a mindful minute. I don't always do it. Sometimes I say not right now, but not right now. 
Yeah. But, not right now. I'm stressed. I love that. I've done that God, in the mornings when I've had so much to oh do and I regret it every time. Oh, I'm every like, time. I don't have I time never, to meditate. I got too much stuff to do. And then, and then mm-hmm. I'm stressed the whole day. Always. Yeah. Um, brother, this was great, man. Yeah, so much good so information. Much. I think regardless of the fact that it was specific, I think people can really truly just get an idea of, of the applications and of the test. Important. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For all yeah. ages, and and then the then the the you have the solution, which is the best part. Exactly. Yeah, it works. Um, Amazing. Yeah. Thanks. So thanks. Please, I really uh, it, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, man, I can't wait to put this one out. But uh, we gotta tell them where they can find you and upgraded formulas, all that stuff. Sure. Well, you know, take care of yourselves first. If you're listening to this, uh, you can follow me later. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm usually so busy. I don't, uh, I'm not posting as often, but I'm uh, doing more of that now. Uh, the website is upgraded formulas, uh, upgraded with an ED formulas with an S. So upgraded formulas.com. Um, you can use code Barton 10 at checkout, uh, for that B A R T O N and then one zero. Um, I'll get you ten percent off your first order, and then, you know, on Instagram, if you want to check me out there, um, it's Barton Scott, so I T S, and then Barton Scott, nice. um, upgraded formulas as well. Um, but yeah, if you're just going to do one thing, just check out the website, and uh, you'll find the tests, the consultations, all one page. You'll find the supplements. You know, um, pretty much everybody sleeps better after their first or second night with the magnesium. So, um, yeah, so I would, I would recommend two capsules for just about everyone as a starting point. So, very nice. but, uh, as always test, don't guess. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. absolutely. Test, don't guess. Yeah. Of course. Uh, yeah. So much guessing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know that we have so many smart people in our, in our field and I, I still find that by default people are, are guessing at the supplements they're taking. They so. are. Doesn't have yeah. to be that way. Yeah, and Doesn't, it's always, yeah. It, 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 well because it's also can become a waste of money. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean? and like, exactly like this, the the return on investment from testing, the peace of mind, and also the hey, I'm not going to buy that thing because I know that yeah. this is good already, and I'm relieved now. Um, is it's huge peace of mind for me, uh, and for a lot of people. So anyway. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, guys. I really enjoyed it. Uh Whoa. 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 Climate change. Don't eat lames. I need God. I make the sauce. I mean, yeah. Glory to God. Shoot us. So hard with a fake I shoot. I'm too live, take that dive. Got my runs, but I feel the brawn. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> Climate change, not my fault. Yeah. 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 Try and stop my sauce. Yeah. I get not fake, this is too late. Home of the same. Yeah. 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 How many cars, how many bras do for your heart? Yeah. Yeah. Up in the deep. Uh, what is you seeking? What is you keep? Yeah. We not so heathen. Yeah. Never wanna dance all night. The queen's go on sight. Oh, you thought we won't fight. Oh, wow. Climate change, don't eat lames. I need God. I make the sauce. I mean, yeah, glory to God. Shoot us aim. I got range. What are the odds? Devil bow, we're not the same. No, we not. Climate change, don't eat lames. I need God. I make the sauce. I mean, yeah, glory to God. Get to the top, whoa, ooh, dang. I'm feeling myself. I had to go and count these buckets. They count me out, cause now I'm stunting. Whoa, hey, day, we pull out a stick. Oh, got me 
said, go let it hit. Oh, God, we said, get him, I got him. Oh, I know the option, I spot him. Oh, huh. Like, Climate change, don't eat lames, I need God. I'm a saw, I mean, yeah, glory to God. Shoot this aim, I got range, what are the odds? Never go, we're not the same, no, we not. Climate change, don't eat lames, I need God. I'm a saw, I mean, yeah, glory to God. Give me the turn, watch it up burn. Get it for the kids like LaFar. Talking wild while the family ball. Hey, boy, please chill. Why you keep it so real? Got the whole room laughing. And your face blue still. All that comes with the press is the pressure. So much for a deal. My boy just got rich. Broke in with a meal. I feel your pain. Forget the fame. I feel the flames. Known from the climate change. Who run it? Climate change, don't eat lames, I need God. I make the song, I mean, yeah, glory to 